Welcome back to Aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Talis Core Learnings and in this video we'll talk about Vapor Classes. So Vapor Classes has been there in, from Java 1. Point, Java, the first version which is 1.0 and uh, so the, in this we have two more concepts introduced which is auto boxing and auto unboxing in 1.5. Now before, uh, when, when we talk about Java, Java is ob purely object oriented, right? But in Java also we use this primitive values which is int, float and uh, double. So this all thing which comes from C programming and C++ or C programming which is procedure, right? So if you are using this thing which is primitive data types, so this is not objects, right? This, if you create int i, so this is not object, this is values, right? So we want, what we want now, we want to use objects. So let's say if you want to store a value 5, you have to use objects. So instead of storing into an uh, int value, you have to use a class of which you'll be creating object. So for every primitive value, we have a class. So for int, we have integer. For float, we have float. For double, we have double. So these are all classes, right? So this is primitive data types. And these are classes. For char, we have character. Right, so for every specific, for every primitive data type, we have a class here. Now, so how can you store the values here? So we can simply say, let's say we have int i equal to 5. So the value of i here is 5. Let me create an integer object. I will say this as i i. So that's my variable name. So we have integer i i. And we can say new integer and you can pass the value 5. Now both this i and 5, they have the same value, which is 5, right? But this, this is an object here and this is a simple value. And Java says everything should be an object, right? That's why this is an object here. So instead of using int, we should always use integer, right? Instead of passing 5, we can also pass a, oh sorry, also pass i, which is the variable here. So we are passing this variable i here, right? So this concept of putting your primitive value inside an object is called as boxing, okay? And from 1.5, we can also write integer i i equal to, or let's name it as jj equal to i, right? So we can directly assign a primitive value to the integer object and this is also boxing but this boxing is called as since it is automatically doing that stuff for you the java compiler it is called as auto boxing so this stuff here this is boxing and this is auto boxing right so it's, it's that simple we can use it with anything we can use it with float double and uh, character right now let's say we are, when we are assigning a value of int to integer, this is called as boxing, right? What if we have a new variable which is j here and the value of j will be coming from jj. So we can say jj dot. So to fetch the value, we can simply say int value. Okay, so when you say int value, it will fetch the integer value or the int, int value of jj, right? Because this int returns the value int here, right? So it returns the data type int. Sounds good? So this concept of getting the primitive value from the object is called as unboxing. So instead of this, we can also directly write, let's say we have int k equal to jj. So we are assigning a value of an object, which is an integer object, right, to the value which is k, which is primitive. Any guess? Yes, this is auto unboxing. Okay, so this is auto unboxing. Now question arises where will we will be using this concept of boxing, auto boxing, primitive wrapper classes. So let's say you're working with a collection. So if you have not seen collection, it's very simple. We have a list of values. So let's say I'm creating a array list of values. So we'll say this is values equal to new array, array list, right? And then we can assign values to this array list. We can just import the package. We can directly assign values to this list. We can say values dot add, we can add five. Right, we can add, uh, let's say seven. Right, so for us this is int values. Right, so five is int value, seven is int value. So this is int type, and we can also add. We can say add, uh, let's say Naveen. Now I don't want. Uh, I don't want this list of values should have uh, Naveen. It should only have the numbers. So five should be supported, seven should be supported, but, but it, not sh it, sh it should not support this string here. 
For that, we have a concept of kind of collection and generics called as uh, generic specifically, and we have to specify the type of value you want to you want to work with. So let's say if I specify int, so I want in both the end we have to specify int. So this array list will only supports int values now. But hold on, there's a syntactical problem here. Uh, it says it is a wrong syntax. It's because this array list only works with integer class because if you want to talk about the latest frameworks, they only work with the classes, not with the primitive values. So this array says, okay, you can only it will only support integer values. That means this five is an integer value. But hold on, we are we are not writing new integer, right? We are not writing this way. That means it is it is boxing the value using auto boxing concept. Okay, and we can also fetch the value with the help of auto unboxing. So wrapper classes are widely used whenever you want to work with collection framework or advanced frameworks okay so if you are still the question is should we use wrapper classes yes whenever you work with frameworks you should use wrapper classes but hold on uh, let, let's say you want to only work with some variable let's say we want, we want to use a for loop right so let's say we want to use a for loop so should I write integer uh, counter equal to zero or should I write int here so what should be better and the answer is int because the processing of int work uh, is much faster than processing of integer because int is primitive and integer is a class so when to use integer when you work with frameworks when to use int when you're working with loops when you, when you want speed then the features so that's it from wrapper classes so it is wrapper unwrapping boxing unboxing and all those stuff so thanks so much for watching and do subscribe for further videos